I've gone and done it again. I've bought another car for the channel, but this time it's a crash damaged one. So probably like yourselves, I watch a lot of these car building channels like Matt Armstrong, Tavarish, people like that, Saving Salvage, and I've always been kind of jealous of them because they've got a great garage and they're there to rebuild cars that they buy from Copart. It's something I've always wanted to do, but I never thought I'd be able to do it in my garage. But you know what? It's now my time and I've took the chance and I bought a car off an auction sight unseen to hopefully rebuild it in this little garage of mine with just the standard tools, no ramps, just jacks, etc. to see if it can be done. And if you could actually save money by buying a car that you really want, I'm not talking supercars, because that's really out of the reach of many of us, I think, including myself. I'm talking a really nice car that you could buy, crash damage from an auction, rebuild it for not too much money and get it back on the road and enjoy it for many, many years, which is what I intend to do with this. So ladies and gents, let me welcome to my channel, my crash damage 2011 Audi TTS Black Edition. The Audi TTS was introduced here in the UK in 2008. It came with a 2 litre TFSI engine, which translates to turbocharged fuel stratified injection. The TTS cars also came with magnetic ride suspension standard, but I know this sometimes had issues, so people replaced the suspension with non mag ride variants. Outputting 268 brake horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque, taking this car from 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds, with a limited top speed of 155 miles an hour. So I bought this car off Copart. Now, my biggest worry of buying on Copart, I've heard so many horror stories. I've been on some Facebook groups with them as well. And, oh, it, it's a worry that the way Copart sometimes change the vehicle so it looks really good. And then when you buy it, it's an absolute wreck underneath. It was always my biggest worry. So that's why I've really stayed away from buying anything from them for a long time. So I thought, come on, stop being a baby. Stop putting excuses in the way. Get out there, buy your car. Let's see what we get and learn from experiences. But one thing I did look for was runs and drives. My first co-park car, I thought, at least give me a fighting chance with something that actually runs and drives. I know that for real because I've actually drove the car from the street onto the drive when it was delivered. And it drove fine in that short distance. Needless to say, it may still have suspension component damage. We need to have a look at that. So I took delivery of this car last week and haven't even had a chance to look at it yet. So I'm gonna do that with you guys on this video. Oh, also, I'll do a price reveal at the end, so stay tuned for that. So this car has been sitting around the court part lot for God knows how long, so before I even work on it, let's give it a clean. Oh, that's much better she cleans up really nice but during the cleaning i've identified a few more sort of marks and blemishes that i'm going to need fixing to get this car immaculate anyway let's go take a look under the bonnet and have a look what the main damage is straight away we've got no engine cover so i don't know where that's gone um what's going on here that just means need refitting mainly right so looking uh, at the front end we can see We've took the big impact here, because if you can see, the crash bar has got a dent in there, and I think that's been pushed back 
which has pushed back the radiator pack. I'm really hoping the frame rails have not been damaged. This is obviously all smashed up, that's fine. Front bumper, well, you know what? It's it probably savable. I think there's, there's maybe a crack there. You know, it might be been compressed in, but you know, that might be savable, but if not, I've got some plans for that. This is all busted, but I think this is all part of the uh, front grille, isn't it? So that's fine. Um, oh, oh, <laughs> oh my word, okay. So that's, uh, that's a little loose. And yeah, what's going to happen to that? Yeah, there we go, look. Brackets broken, but I've got plans for those. Now this wing here, so this wing, yes, that's beyond repair really. So that's got a nice uh, crack in it there, isn't it? So we need another, we need a new wing. Bonnet, as you probably noticed, that is all dented. This wing looks okay. So this wing is undamaged. This headlight, just look in there. Yeah, I think, I think that headlight's undamaged as well. So it's mainly this side. Right, check the radiator pack. Oh, <laughs> you see the angle the radiator goes there. Yeah, I think we're gonna need a, a new radiator. If not, uh, I think there's three here because there's a condenser, charge cooler and a radiator. Probably all broken. We'll have to have a look at that when we do the dismantle. So notice, I don't think they're modded because one of the things you would mod is put a cold air intake. So there's no cold air intake on this one. So this must be a stock engine. Now during the cleaning, what I did notice is there's a little dent in the door here. Now, does that come from the forklifts while uh, Copart have lifted it and they've just dented in? Typical damage from Copart. There's also a dent here, but I think this is prior damage maybe because there's a scrape there, look. So I think it's been scraped and it's been dented in. Hoping PDR will get rid of those two. Now there's a little bit of a dent on the rear bumper here. So that, just a little bit of filler and a touch up and that might be all right. Again, I think this could be previous damage. This side, not a mark. So this side is very, very good. All it has got is a lot of these uh, tar marks from the road, but they'll, they'll come off. But all in all, I mean the roof, the rear deck, all of that is sound. There's not a mark on those. And yeah, it comes up really, really nicely. So at this moment, I'm a smartly fill because I think this is all pretty easily repairable and I can live with some of the other dents. We can get them done later on. Let's just go check the interior because if there's any airbags gone, that's going to be quite a huge expense and a lot of work. Check this out then, guys. The interior in here is absolutely immaculate. No steering wheel airbags gone. No dashboard airbag is gone. I think the crash might have been at a slow speed, so it wasn't enough to set the airbags off because surely a front end crash like that would have set these airbags off, but it hasn't. So what else we've got in here? So we have the six speed manual. Now I'm an automatic driver, but I'm really looking forward to getting this manual and taking it and doing some track days with it. Which is the plan that I have for this car. So it's got a Pioneer head unit and that's got Apple CarPlay in it. Um, we've got heated seats. What else we got? Sports mode, yes. Now I've tried to get the uh, the rear wing up and down using this button, but it doesn't seem to want to go. So has that been coded, guys? Do you know? Can you code that to stay up? If so, I've got VCDS. I can actually code that so it goes up and down. So this interior is absolutely lovely. Just needs a little bit of cleaning up. But apart from that, it's in really, really good condition. I think this car has been previously owned by someone who really cared for it, which is good news for me. Look at this dashboard. So yeah, dashboard, obviously we've got the bonnet open and that's just telling me that's fine. We've got over half a tank of fuel. I thought Copart siphoned all the fuel out. Can't believe it. Now you've got engine warning light on, but I think that's just in check mode. Well, here we go. Switch off engine. I haven't even started the engine yet. So um, 80,000 miles on it or just over anyway. Let's fire up. Yes. And engine light goes out. All we've got is that rear wing. Hopefully I can fix that with VCDS. But everything else is nice and clear. Turn it off because I've got no coolant. So next job, there's a load of rubbish inside this interior. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to open it back, see what we've got in there because I think there's a few bits and bobs in there as well. And uh, let's have a look at what we've got. Right, check out all this, guys. So these are obviously the surrounds from the uh, fog lights. Looks like this surround is broken. What's this one? Oh, that one looks all right, actually. What's this? Bonnet catch. A bit more plastic from under the bonnet, I guess. 
We've got some de-icer, look. Got a couple of tins of de-icer. Bonus, we have a brolly and a ratchet strap. Look at that, absolutely brand new ratchet strap. Oh, scraper, hey. So that's not a bad all for free, is it? <laughs> right, let me uh, get rid of some of this and put this away and then we'll go inside the garage. Let's do some numbers. Okay, the cost at the top there, we've got the car. Now I bought this car at auction for £3,900. Now the auction cost plus delivery was £758.40. Now I've been looking up a bonnet and a bonnet is gonna be about 300. A wing, about 200. Rad pack, well, I've not seen a rad pack yet, but I think we're into maybe 500. But I don't know which rads I need at this moment yet, so until I strip the car down, I won't know exactly how many radiators I need. Body work, well, I don't know, it depends how much at all. Headlight, well, that one, uh, body work, we don't know. Headlight, that, that could be very expensive, I don't know. But I think a car like this is worth about eight to 9,000. So if we say 8K, so I'm hoping to keep this rebuild up well under the 8K mark, hopefully around the 6K mark, but we'll have to see how that goes. And to see how that goes, you need to subscribe to this channel and drop me a comment of any mod you'd like to see done on this car. I'd be interested to see what your take is on it. And don't forget to give me that thumbs up for this video. Please join me in the next episode where we'll be stripping the car down to have a look at the extent of the actual damage. Till the next time.